This is the partially finished and operating uh, solar control station that I built over the weekend. This is the uh, BC Products MPPT 250 uh, HV controller. See battery banks at 12.7 volts right now and the low potential disconnect is on. Oh, yellow LED light. The flood LED is not lit because it's night and photovoltaic modules don't work unless you're a subsidized grid tie uh, facility in Spain but that's only because they connect up generators because because of the insane amounts of subsidies they get or at least we're getting they could economically run generators and grid and backfeed the grid that way one of the reasons why I'm not backfeeding the grid I guess it really did happen uh, this is the um, this is this is the uh, disconnect for the uh, QS solar array featured in a previous video these other two are for two additional arrays which have yet to be installed. Uh, this one's just got a um, 30 ampere fuse here as a placeholder, just kind of as a shorting cap, and uh, the six and a quarter ampere uh, fuse. That is the actual current protection fuse because the 30 ampere ones are less than half the cost of these. These guys at home cheap are over five bucks a piece, so they're expensive. And uh, that just uh, disconnects the array. Right now it was off because just finished installing this disconnect, which we'll get into in a bit. Uh, that is the uh, charge controller cabinet. It's just an old carrier HVAC uh, system controller cabinet that was lying around in the uh, in one of the sheds for many many years. I was able to clean all the mouse excrement out of it and enlarge the window so that the uh, controller would fit. This is the, just the back of a BZ Products MPPT 250HV controller. Nothing much to see. Ultimately there's going to be uh, more stuff connected to those because that's a low potential disconnect and, an auxiliary, and the auxiliary um, battery charge terminals, which unlike the um, those guy equivalent of this, you can use simultaneously, which is good. Also, what I'm going to do is have a disconnect switch and a pair of binding posts, which I'm probably going to install this weekend on that. Then this is the protection fuse for the charge controller. It's a uh, Cooper Bussman NON25 uh, 13 32 inch by 2 inch uh, cartridge type fuse, fairly common. And then there's all 12 gauge wiring connecting it to the bus bar. And then these are all 10 gauge wires going to the batteries. And before you say that that's a eh, tiny idiot, you should be using bigger stuff. There are half a dozen pairs of wires here because I have half a dozen batteries. Because with my system, each battery has its own individual cable. And each one is also individually fused, a little 30 ampere ATC fuse. But that's largely catastrophic event protection. In the event of something shorting this out, which would be not good. Then these uh, big six gauge cables run up to uh, the two main primary inverters, one uh, Harbor Freight 1200 watt inverter and the Sunforce Pro Series uh, 1000 watt Pearson inverter. And then these have each have one of these little plugs, which then go in a hole in the back plane, which is why do you just keep the excess cable out of the way? Because each of these cables is about four feet long, otherwise. And they go into a uh, little uh, main side control box, or just a couple of receptacles and a disconnect switch. Uh, the uh, red receptacle, even though it looks kind of a pinkish orange color on camera, it is actually red. Uh, this is for the pure signer, this is for the Harbor Freight uh, modified square wave inverter, and the blue is for the uh, pure signer, which one is also color coded. Then this uh, bit of extension cord cable goes down to this little uh, switched receptacle box. Right now I just got it feeding a light. But ultimately this is going to be a master disconnect for the 12, for the 120 volt uh, main side of the house because I've got a bunch of little extension cables like uh, this one and there's a couple others which go off to various parts of the house to feed various um, uh, 120 volt uh, circuits 
Well, they just lights, like I got a couple of screens, LED Christmas lights, and little, uh, those little glass oil light looking type fixtures with a little night light in the base, and then they've got a regular part that takes a GLS lamp. Most of those have the uh, inverter safe uh, compact fluorescent lamps in them. This is that red switch, by the way, that I showed in one of my uh, cool stuff videos from over the summer, because ordinarily these are very, very expensive. The, this also, this one is off the uh, square wave side, it is not off of the sine wave because most of the loads that I have on it are specifically uh, square wave safe. Then I've got, uh, these are the two uh, disconnect fuses for, th or the two uh, protection fuses for the big inverters. This is 70 ampere uh, uh, maxi fuse for the 1000 donor watt inverter and the 60 ampere maxi fuse for the 1000 watt pure sign. Yes, those mean that these can't be run at full capacity, but ultimately what I'm going to do is probably replace this particular cable with some 4 gauge stuff and put in a 100 ampere fuse. And then these cables, this is a 10 gauge, two red ones are 10 gauge, and the white one is 8 gauge because it's a common neutral. And they go into this disconnect box, which goes to, only right now it only goes to a pair of 12, of a 12 volt circuits. All of the six and a quarter ampere fuse because there's a ten ampere and a six and a quarter ampere. That one does go a little uh, uh, a little quarter inch by one and a quarter inch uh, fuse panel that I ma uh, made for uh, that I made back in 2009 when I first installed uh, this system. This, although it was all new work, this I built over the weekend before it was like what was in my. Uh, the Irene uh, preps video. These two, uh, this one goes to feed a, uh, the 10 ampere one feeds a, um, a cigarette light, feeds a um, cigarette light receptacle and a, uh, and a radio equipment circuit in the, uh, that was actually originally installed when the house was built and that, because that only took up one little part of the radio room, I uh, grafted that onto the system when I installed this a few years back. And then this one, as, just, as previously said, goes to the little panel, which if I can get it on a video. Just that little thing. Not much, but then again, this system was originally a lot smaller than it is now. That's just a little switch. It goes up to the 1487 12-volt uh, indicator lamp. Just a little being able to work on the thing in pitch darkness when the electricity is out. I'm going to be replacing this with a um, bigger AT, uh, 10 circuit ATC panel which is going to be going in a box either up there up there, or over here. And then this one is going to be, what I'm going to do is, re is replace one of these with a uh, with a 30 ampere fuse or 25 ampere fuse or something and have this guy uh, protect uh, each of these is going to be for one of the 12 volt circuits that isn't immediately covered by this. So, and these are just uh, air conditioner pull-out type uh, disconnects because these don't get operated anywhere near as much as these. So, having a little uh, pull-out thing, it's not as annoying. Even though these are NEMA 3R rated housings, which is unnecessary in this application, but then again, these are designed for air conditioner remote condensers, which are understandably outside in the rain and the yick, and you don't want water getting in, especially since these would be normally 240 volts alternating current. But here, things like NEMA 1 rated devices like these are perfectly fine. So, sick, big job.